Hey, Stroll Processing Universe, it's Hank Balch here with another episode of Fighting Dirty. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your time today to learn about what you can do with your sterile processing career. I get this question all the time. I'm a new technician, I want to grow. What can I do in sterile processing or outside of sterile processing that would still let me use the valuable skills that I have learned in this department? I've got good news. The possibilities are endless. From becoming a nurse to becoming a surgical tech, those are the more natural flows because you're already more familiar with the instrumentation. You learn some of the surgical technology. You learn the workflow of the operating room. That's the natural next step. A lot of folks from sterile processing go into the OR. In addition to that, you can go into infection prevention and control because the regulatory and training that we learn around infection control and sterile processing, how to break the chain of infection is so transferable into becoming an infection prevention nurse uh, and leader in those departments. So that's a great opportunity as well. But even outside of that, there are folks that go into ultrasound, they go into respiratory therapy, they go into PT, all kinds of healthcare related jobs like to hire folks that have already gotten experience in the healthcare industry. And in particular, hospitals and health systems like to hire people from within. So if you get into sterile processing, show that you can show up to work on time, learn a trade, get certified, grow for a couple of years, and that's your opportunity to take that next step outside of sterile processing, but stay in healthcare. However, all those things being true, I would encourage you to consider one other way to grow in the sterile processing industry, and that is through pursuing opportunities with sterile processing vendors. We have a ton of vendors in our industry who sell everything from surgical instruments to chemicals to the equipment like sterilizers and washers and ultrasonics all the way up to the architects who build our departments. Anything that you see in a traditional sterile processing department has been sold by a vendor. And those vendors love to hire folks who have hands-on experience in sterile processing departments. So many of the sales folks that you run into today have a background in sterile processing, or if they don't, they wish they did. I would encourage you, if you want to grow in your sterile processing career and you want to grow outside of your sterile processing department, consider getting a role with a sterile processing vendor that you already know and respect. If it's your tracking system, if it's your consumable rep, even many times some of these vendors that bring in loaner trays, right, these implant reps, they will hire folks who are high performing sterile processing technician to come over into the cell side or to start on the logistics side of implant cells and distribution. Whatever it is, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity both in healthcare and in healthcare but outside of the hospital for sterile processing folks to grow your career. I encourage you to stick with it. You can get to where you want to go if you don't give up. Until next time, keep fighting dirty. We'll see you again soon.